This episode was brought to you by the Inland Empire Small Business Development Center, the region's premier provider of business consulting and training services for the existing and aspiring business owner, serving Riverside and San Bernardino counties. The SBDC mission is to help you build a better business. I'm here with Dan Riddler, chairman of the board for IEP, and you're also on the gas company's board, or work for the gas company. Right. Can you tell me why put this event on? Uh, this event is very critical for the community as a whole because we're really trying to focus on the broader sense of economic development, which is the quality of life for the region where most of us live and work. What role does IEP take in improving the overall quality of life for this region? To answer that question, I think you need to look at who are the members of IEP and those members that we're looking to encourage to uh, participate all the way from our public members to our educational institutions to our business members and how we can convene and collaborate, bring them together again to look at um, you know, how we bring the resources uh, you know, to the area. You know, it, one of the things that's important is how can our region be unique in certain areas but still collaborate and work together to get the resources because if we can't do that, then others are going to get those resources that can work together. The president has talked about both in his State of the Union and kind of moving forward that the way we are going to win the future as a country is to out-educate, to out-innovate, and to out-build the rest of the world. And the only way we're going to do that is community by community making sure that all of us step up to play our shared role of responsibility and kind of being a part of the answer. And so events like this that are bringing together, you know, across, we think about quality of life in the Inland Empire and we think about both uh, the folks in the business community and the philanthropy, the nonprofit sector, the public sector, you know, side by side with the folks from the education system, but all the key folks both inside all of those parts of the system needing to be here to talk to each other. What are you doing? Here's what I'm doing. How do we kind of connect? We know that that shared responsibility, and the president has said this again and again, is the only way we're going to win the future. How important do you think IEEP's role is in this region for, for trying to accomplish what you just talked about? Well, I think the conference today just typifies uh, how important their role is in bringing us together uh, when you're when you're looking at economic recovery economic strength um, you're you're looking at all of life um, a, a healthy life a healthy community that is going to uh, rise to the challenges and and go forward to really become that community and region that provides the workforce and provides uh, the new innovative businesses that will be, hopefully be attracted here even more and uh, that we will really make a difference in our communities and our families' lives. We have to provide services. Uh, we've got to provide high quality education. Uh, the College of Business is in a lot of ways the leading edge of the university in a set of communities that of the major metropolitan areas of the nation ranks number two in unemployment. Mm -hmm. And so unless businesses are more successful, unless we can help uh, with the financial climate, uh, then none of us will be as successful as otherwise. What are some of the major challenges or issues you think this region is facing right at the moment? Well, I think one of the major challenges we confront is simply the image of the region in the coastal counties. Um, we, we're still perceived, I think, as being somewhat backward uh, with dirty air. And that's, that doesn't describe the region anymore. Uh, we are, we're a very forward-looking, fast-growing, dynamic economy here. Um, it, but we need to change that perception of the, of the coastal counties. Without a strong educational backbone, this region's quality of life will suffer. As the changing economy has required us to rethink our core businesses, our educational system is even more important to educate and train our most valuable resource, our people. Daniel, can you tell me how important are events like today? 
absolutely essential. Our region historically has been very disconnected and fractured and we need convenings like this to bring key stakeholders and leaders together to discuss the issues and ultimately form collaborative approaches to problem solving. So it's very important. You, know, you look at the history of this region, one of the systemic problems is the lack of collaboration and leveraging of resources and talent and ideas and so I think this is very, very important uh, to the future of the region, to the economy. What are some of the issues that you think that we have to overcome in the next few years? Um, one of them is capital. The, the general lack of capital in the region. We need to bring investments. We need to do, bring more money into the region so that we can do the things which are important. Um, we've got to move beyond just being a place that goods pass through and be a place where activity happens, where jobs are created, where businesses grow. Um, I'd love to see more corporate headquarters, whether it be small or large, that put their businesses here, because that's where we're so proximate to so much of the economic activity in California and in the country that it would be great to have more of the core capital investments made in this area. This region needs a strong, vibrant, small business and entrepreneurial environment that recognizes and supports the efforts of those who risk it all to create jobs, wealth, and sustainable enterprises. As a region, the Inland Empire needs to meet the challenges of building strong, sustainable communities by driving advancements in green technologies and state-of-the-art infrastructure. Can you tell me, Christina, what's the importance of an event like today? You know, this is critical. As a region, we need to solidify both in terms of our identity but also in terms of our resources. Too long that we have uh, not collaborated together and had a unified vision so that we could effectively lobby and advocate for the needs of our region. We've been passed over because in many ways we've been bickering. So today is a way for us to have a regional identity, look at common vision, common goals, and move ahead and make a difference in our region. I think it's very important to bring education, business, and nonprofits together to work out some of the problems of the community and make it a better place for everybody to live. We all benefit from that. What are some of the issues that you as a as an organization face currently in the region? Uh, well, as every business, trying to get good uh, manpower to work for the jobs. Uh, we're recruiting all the time for good uh, applicants to come into our apprenticeship program that will become our workforce of the future. Uh, and also maintaining those people to stay around and stay in the careers instead of moving away because they don't like the area. Paul, this has been a pretty good event today. What were you hoping to accomplish? Well, what we were hoping to accomplish was to get people to talk to each other. Uh, the Inland Empire is 27,000 square miles, 4.2 million people, and what you had today were many of the, the most influential people coming together to start to understand the issues that face Riverside and San Bernardino counties uh, in a holistic way. And so that's why we, we focused on five different areas business, transportation and infrastructure, education, health and well-being. These are all really important pieces to the puzzle. What role do you see IEP taking in, in helping to improve the quality of life? What leadership role do you see your, your organization taking? The Inland Empire Economic Partnership is a, a group of private businesses and public entities like, uh, like the universities and the cities. What we're trying to do is maximize the force of business and, and, the pub, and, and, and the public sector to come around these issues. And so what IEP wants to do is be a convener. We want to convene the major businesses of the Inland Empire to help uh, bring their clout uh, to focus on these issues, working in conjunction with the public institutions. That's what IEP wants to be about, bettering the business climate and quality of life of the Inland Empire. This episode was brought to you by the Inland Empire Small Business Development Center, the region's premier provider of business consulting and training services for the existing and aspiring business owner, serving Riverside and San Bernardino counties. The SBDC mission is to help you build a better business.